Good Day Columbus on Fox 28. We are quickly headed toward 930 on this, what is today, Thursday is morning, Thursday. right? Yay. And we're going to take science to a microscopic level this morning. Nerd alert. Nerd alert. <laughs> Nerd. Yes. But for good reason, COSI is here today, and they are going to show us some, how small parts of science have kind of big bang. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, so tonight, uh, so good having Thursday, you, thanks for having me here. Um, so tonight we're having our 21 plus night, our COSI after dark, and tonight's theme uh, is microscopic mixtures. So uh, adults 21 plus get a free run of the museum tonight so they can come Woo! with no kids and explore. Uh, and so and cocktails there, at COSI. Uh, there are cocktails at COSI. Wonderful event. Idea. <laughs> so, um, you know, Sean, get off that bicycle! <laughs> <laughs> so since we're doing uh, some music themed shows, some fractal shows inside the planetarium, uh -huh. I, I figured we'd kind of combine both of these things, some microscopic mysteries and a little bit of music and kind of talk about uh, one of my favorite things I like to nerd out about over okay. since we're talking about nerding uh, records. All right. Right? Um, so if we, uh, to get started, let's talk a little bit about how traditional music works, right? If most people listen to music now on, on MP3s, and sure. when you're listening on MP3s, got uh, bytes, ones and zeros, right? And what the computer is doing is looking at that first number, looking at the second number, making a guess between, and then giving you your sound, right? Giving okay. you your waveform. Uh -huh. But records work a little bit uh, differently than that. What uh, When we cut a record, you actually take that sound, and it vibrates uh, a little sapphire cutting head mm -hmm. on the record, and it cuts the actual waveform, that sound, into the record, right? So you may see the lines here. It's a little mm -hmm. harder to see, but if we look over at the board, he brought a, take he a, brought a microscope with the microscope. We can actually see those grooves, That's right? That's actually my right there on the record. In there. And uh, a very, very dusty record at that that needs to be cleaned a little bit. Wow, we can see those grooves uh, cut into the record. So since we've got those grooves uh, and now we've got the record, hmm. we can talk a little bit about how to uh, play those back, right? And I figured we would make our own uh, kind of turntable. And I, I want to apologize in advance to all of my, my record friends out there. They're like Lost happy. Weekend, Elizabeth, <laughs> and Spoonfold. Uh, <laughs> And uh, uh, use kids, so uh, don't do this don't with really good it. records. Yeah. It will ruin them, but get a, get a cheap <laughs> one from one of those guys and try it out. So to do this, we only need a couple things. So if you want to grab a piece of paper, right. uh, the first thing we're going to do is kind of roll that piece of paper yeah, into a cone. One of those. And uh, the other thing you need at home if you want to try this is just a, a needle or a pin. This now, I've like got some sewing, sewing needles, needles, but yeah. pins will work as well. Um, so we're going to take that piece of paper and we'll just kind of roll just it up roll it in a into a cone, yeah, okay. at the end. Now this cone's going to kind of serve uh, just like a gramophone bell would serve to help us kind of amplify our sound a little bit. And uh, yeah, something just like that at the end. Uh, and then you just okay. want to take a piece of tape if you're, if you're trying this at home and just tape that okay. cone kind of closed. Okay. okay. You don't have to be too precise. You can experiment with different cone shapes. Perfect. Close your cone. So once we've got our cone uh, taped oh, there at the end, uh -huh. What we're going to want to do is just tape a needle so it kind of sticks over the end there, sticking out kind of with the pointy end of the needle out. Okay. Now, so these uh, are just regular sewing needles. Yeah, they're this just sewing needles. Now, a turntable needle is going to be more precise than that. It's going to be designed uh, to either track, you know, stereo or mono right. records. And uh, like I said, these ones are, are, and you're are putting that on the very outside? dull. Uh -huh. Yeah, and the outside is pointing right out towards there. Okay. okay. All right. Hopefully that's So enough. we've got a cone with a needle on it. Now, so when records are cut, uh, 12 inches are typically cut at 33 RPM. That means that this record over a minute will spin around uh, 33 and a third mm -hmm. times. Nice. So when we spin this by hand, we're not going to get that precise. So we'll hear the record, the faster we spin it, the higher the pitch will get, the slower we spin right. it, the lower it'll get. Okay. So what we're going to do is if you want to take, you've got yours finished over there, Marshall. If you want to take it and kind of put it down in one of the grooves right there. Just put it on one yeah, you kind of want to angle it a little bit, kind of imagine that the record head's kind of pointed like that. So if we kind of okay. angle, yeah, just like that. And then what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start spinning that. In the, uh, oh. Bring that microphone turn. over there. Turn this this way, maybe. And as we turn it, you can start hearing that music come out. Yeah. So what's happening is those those grooves that are cut in the record are actually vibrating that needle back and forth. And if we put it really fast here, we hear that uh, sound coming out. As it vibrates the needle, it's vibrating the cone, moving the air inside of the cone until it travels to our eardrums or into that microphone, moving your eardrum or the microphone speaker back and forth, letting us hear the sound. So this is a pure. Uh, really analog way of reproducing that sound and, That's and something we can really visualize with some microscopes. That's so. the worst band I've ever heard. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it sounds pretty rough. Now, it just gets only more interesting. If you try this at home, you can experiment with making multiple cones, uh, playing back multiple parts of the records at once. You know, we've got kind of three cones here. So, so if you're at home, we can try this one more time. Oh, really? Let's each pick a, pick a different side of the record here okay. and okay. play this back. Now, this is going to play uh, three different things at once here. And we really hear some kind of interesting, crazy sounds coming out of this one now. So this is a great way to kind of experiment, get different sounds out of the record, and uh, create your own kind of unique musical instruments with multiple cones here. Uh, have a little That's experimental music wild. along with your science. 
How fun is that? It's like the old phonograph principle. Well, that's yeah, exactly. Say, that's the gramophone cool. bells work exactly right. the same. Uh, you know, and it works the same on the on the record player. That needle uh, would pick up the sound from the grooves, send those vibrations through the tone arm, this part of yeah. our record player right here, and then out Come to your out, out to your amplifier. Uh -huh. Yeah, or that's in the old situations, the bell, just right. like we have here. That's fun. So when who was it? Edison that sure. created the first one. Yeah, Edison's first experiments were uh, needles that were cut onto aluminum, right. and uh, it didn't work too well, so he kind of shelved it for a while. The aluminum wouldn't play back multiple times. It did record it. Uh, he moved on to wax cylinders, and now when they make records, which which they actually do right here in Columbus at Music Hole, uh, they press records, cool. and you can record there. Uh, they take aluminum discs, cover them with uh, acetate, which is basically nail polish, and then use that sapphire head to cut in the master, uh -huh. uh, make a and then have basically pucks of this polycarbonate material, stamp it down onto the master, and you end up with your, your final produced That's record awesome. here. That's amazing. That's Pretty fantastic. Cool. When I play Thanks Trivial so. Pursuit, you're on my team. So right. Thanks so much. We appreciate yeah, it. Thanks for having us. There's here. lots more to come here on Good Day Columbus this morning as we freeze. It's really cold out there. Trisha's here from No Chefs Allowed to show us how to make a great German potato soup. That'll warm you up. Plus, your chance next to win tickets to the world's toughest rodeo. So that's still to come. Don't go away.